What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, guys. We are here today with Boosted 931. What's going, What's going on? on? He bought the Weld Wheels off of my GT500 that I had and put them on his car. Now, you might remember this car. We did a video on, on it. Uh, it's been how long ago has it been? It's been a while back. I'll put a link up here uh, to the to the video. But this is a single turbo. 76 millimeter precision single turbo car and it is it's wicked i hope the wind noise is kind of down right now i'm trying to block it but uh it's got a shoot on the back this car means absolute business so what wheels did you have on here you had the race the, uh sve yeah the sve drag pack 27560 pros and they had the same tires you got up there on the front but now the problem you were having is you went five eighths studs in the back because you kept having issues out of yep, this I broke the half inch five sets of uh, half inch by 20s this year okay so he w went to five eight studs and it just so happened that the s71 weld wheels fits uh five eight studs big shout out to weld for thinking ahead on that also yeah well just made i'm a believer in weld now from that just from that start out with a half inch stud on a normal car you want to upgrade you don't have to change yeah the s71s you don't have to change it because on the you have a shank but on these they fit and so of course the fronts fit with no issue he's got the stock fronts these but are, we're on half inch by 20 on shelby and they're fitting five eights that's just yeah. crazy man let's fire it up yes sir and that started in a month so i mean it's been sitting on blocks e85, e85. yes sir He's got a uh, Cadillac and a Fox body. So West too, I got some guys. These guys do all my suspension work. Heath Ballou and Jeff Hill does a lot of paint. SOS, a really good group of guys down in Florence, Alabama. So have you pulled the shoot any? It's getting ready to. It's getting ready to? I'm from the OS. <laughs> ready to start. I like that. Man. Boy, crazy. Shout out to Ken, by the way. Ken saved me six weeks of waiting on the same set of wheels. So shout yeah, out. they had a six-week wait on these wheels, so he hit me up, and he's like, hey, I'll buy them off of you. Wish it wasn't wet out. I know. Wet and cold. Yeah, I had this whole driveway swept off, and you know how weather is. Oh, dude. There is no such thing as cleaning leaves in the fall. Yeah, this is uh, getting a built motor suit, by the way. I plan on going built motor in the office. Probably or so still on stock gen one he is planning on going built motor eventually we're gonna go ahead and check out the caddy Crazy man, guys. As you know, there's Derek Sizemore. Now you remember Derek Sizemore? He, this is his truck, but Derek had the red Whipple car that uh, was on my channel, tuned by Daryl. He sold it, and he is actually taking delivery right now of his new car. 
So we're gonna let him get in here, take delivery of it, and then we'll check it out. talk about this car just a little bit all right guys so Derek so you just bought it so what do you think I love it I'm uh, I'm excited I'm excited okay. so let's run let's do a run through the car it's a 2011 2011 okay um, built sleeve motor um, HB manly rods still the 10 and a half to one compression I think is what he has it at um, I did a lot of research on this car before I bought it I know anybody can say it's a boat motor but I actually went up to Bowling Green and watched it run I have the time slip and the video over at 1093. Yeah. At 144. It's been a best of 93 yep. at 144. With the Roush blower, 2.3 with the 69 millimeter pulley. So let's check Six it out. Six rib. Let's check it out. There you go, guys. Roush. And like he said, it has a built motor. I'll throw some, I'll get him to send me some pictures. I'll throw the pictures up here yeah. of the manly rods and everything like that. Completely built, sleeved. Yep. It is ready to rock. And turbo it's 400. Turbo 400 transmission. Uh, yep, stage three JPC, turbo 400. Um, it already has half shafts, full suspension, adjustable fronts, adjustable rears. I think it's got Vikings in the rear. Um, BMR springs. Um, it's ready. So you're you're planning on going to a little bigger blower? Probably the, the Gen 3R probably. Oh, It'll be gonna my be cheapest neat. bang for the buck since everything else is already there. It's going to be nasty because it's already built for it. Yeah. The transmission's built. He said the rear end's built too? Yep. So we've got a built rear end. i got all the paperwork on Built rear end. Yep. Turbo 400 Stage 3 JPC transmission. 35, yeah, 35 spline axles. 35 spline axles. Yep. So it is begging for the Gen 3R. And it's already set up for a blower, so yep. take that blower off, Gen 3R on, and you are off to the races. And it's already ran 9.3 on the route. So as you can see, guys, there's the shifter for the trans. It's got all his gauges, his boost gauge, his fuel pressure, and his uh, air fuel. And then it looks like it's got the saline, I see the saline emblem, so it looks like it's got the saline body kit on it. On some Ray Stars with some ET Street Radio Pros. Oh, there's the, there's the, the saline something. Saline. That goes right here. On the that goes right here. All right, guys. I snuck over on the inside of the car because uh, it's cold out there. They can stay out there. I'm in the warm. I turned on the heated seats. This is a premium car. So it's got heated seats. It has the end gauge. It's everything. Man, this thing is nice, guys. Oh, you want, I'm cold too. Whoa. I told you. I told you. Man. You was out there while I go. Huh? It ain't cold. It, it wasn't when I was putting them wheels on. I got one. Wow. 45 degrees. It feels like 20. Got the end gauge. What yep. do you think, Ken? Dude, I love it, dude. I do too. I love it. Uh, we're going to catch you inside the shop over there because we got another killer S197 to show you. So we're going to go over here and check out Brett's car. Out. Look at this, guys. That's a... Big now, what size Kenny Bell is this? 3.6 3.6 liter Kenny Bell liquid cooled 
I mean, just look at it, guys. Hold on, let's put some light on the situation. Man, just look at it, guys. Kenny Bell. Oh, that's a massive pulley. I know, they had to custom make this pulley, DBR. Wow. It, the, uh, the biggest pulley Kenny Bell made on it, they said was gonna make too much power for this stock Gen 1, so they had to custom make this pulley. It's kind of impressive. Dude. Yeah. Run off of a 10 rib system. Yeah, so it's got, it does have a 10 rib system. All of it's 10 rib. That's nice, dude. That is killer. You wanna hear it? Yes. Well, we might wanna lift the garage. Let's lift the garage first. I don't wanna be deaf. <laughs> the Kenny not, Bell not Mammoth, impressed. guys, not check it out. <laughs> now you need a built motor. Yeah. Take and I mean, pull you down, and now. yeah. <laughs> you know he could get just a, a stage one 400 be fine for the power. <laughs> Listen to that thing. But I mean, you're still stock Gen 1 motor, right? So, and it was a 3.6 Kenny Bell Mammoth Supercharger. <laughs> He still is manual, but you're looking to go auto. Auto. Uh, Six R80 or a four hundred. Turbo four hundred. Turbo four hundred. Got the end gauge. His cars are premium, also. It's got the SVE wheels on it. ET Street R's. Oh shit. So the last time they saw this car in your video was in A. Yeah, last time it was on my video was in A. guys we got all three beside each other we got a kenny bell we've got a turbo and we got a roush tvs all three and man, this is a sick lineup but all three of them sitting here running i can't help but think rev off, rev off. Yeah. All right, that's what i thought i'm getting way back here because it's gonna be stupid loud all right we're gonna see who's the loudest one at a time, one at a time. kenny bell first Hey, hold on, hold on. There is so much damn America sitting right here. It's it's unreal. Okay, now we're gonna get one at a time. Let me go tell Derek. Okay, Derek. We're gonna do one at a time. All right, all right hold on, all right. Right here in the middle. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh -uh, I'm not going deaf. <laughs> all right, so first one gonna go. All right, Kenny Bell, hit it. All right, now when we get a little closer because the turbo's exhaust is up front. All right, go ahead. No doubt about it. He's the loudest. He is the loudest, hands down. But. Alright, guys, don't forget to check out Boosted 931, Randy. 
he's on there with this car Cadillac, Cadillac the and the Fox and uh, one day when it's warm or you can get the car out we'll check out the Fox body check it out all right so it is the next day we decided to stay the night uh, crashed at Derek's house appreciate that Derek but anyway um, we started to stay because it was gonna be sunny today and I wanted to ride in this car so and figured be a great way to end the video is with actual riding the car and talk a little bit about it well you can feel that spool back there mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> Car yeah, so the car's got full suspension. It's got a built rear, 35 spline axles with a spool, uh, turbo 400 stall. This car's rowdy. Yeah. Rowdy. <laughs> got a little tire spin. Mm -hmm. Still, still pulled up. Yeah. We got Cody in the back, guys. Cody's in the back seat. This is streetcar life. Hey, like the Turbo 400 so far. Oh, I love it, man. It's kind of like the best of both worlds between a manual and an auto. You still feel connected with the car, but it's fun. So how are you liking the TVS so far? Man, I will say it feels like it hits way harder than my Whipple car did. And my Whipple car was fast on the track, but man, this thing hits hard crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, instant. That's what I love about TVS, how hard they hit. Yeah. <laughs> That was still, dude. This car is moving, spinning the tires. You can yeah. feel it. You can feel it hazing the tires. Yeah. <laughs> what was that second gear? Yeah, that was second. <laughs> Right, guys we just got through with the ride along i hope you guys enjoyed that uh had a little fun a little too much fun there for a second and uh cody was i the only one that thought we were going to those trees i thought we were going <laughs> i did too because when he teasing. he went this way went this way and then went back hard i was like oh no here it is i was still cheesing though i was having a blast <laughs> but yeah uh, I would have to say, Derek, gonna have to yeah. be careful with this one. Uh, I was ready for it. <laughs> <All right. Yeah. laughs> well, when we get when, in this in this footage, they they have already watched it. We'll see if your face said you were ready for it. Because oh, so. <laughs> the look on your face would have said if you were ready for it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, the cars are one piece, and we are happy. Yeah. <laughs> Do I now had to test the waters? Water, yeah. yeah, I mean this is a brand new car for yeah. you, so you had to no, test it out. Like each pull, like when we were going from a dead stop or first gear, I was kind of half throttle three. Yeah, each time going a little feet. further, a little further. And I was like, screw it, floored it, and it was all right. Yeah, 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 guys, this car is an absolute beast, and he's about to turn it up even more. That's what's crazy, you know. Yeah, like this is going to be this is going to be an eight second car with that three R on here. Cool. Well and well into the eights. Yeah. This car has the potential of going sevens. I don't know if I'm ready for that. You don't know if you're ready for that. Take it in baby steps. Take it in baby steps. I'd probably want to get it on the track in this form and get used to it, yeah. and then three R, and then pull you the three R and walk into it as you go. 
because the first thing you never want to get out there unless you're ready for it yep. unless you're ready for all the power yep. but this car is crazy and uh it's got it's got cody thinking it's got i was i was thinking turbo but then i got another blower car and i'm now i'm back at the mm, don't know like i said vmp's got their new blower coming out the whipple is proven i mean who knows but this car with the three r on it yeah. i'm not gonna say i will ride in it to be honest with you <laughs> no nah, i will yeah. but uh cage yeah, I need to cage yeah. if you're gonna do a three r i'd cage it because oh, sure. yeah i mean it needs exactly it needs a cage now so cage shoot then the 3r because right. you're gonna have to have a parachute you're already trapping what mid 140s yeah 144 145 yeah you're gonna need a shoot so oh, that shoots for safety man yeah, oh, yeah. i mean I'm trust okay me you know you know driving a car that traps 130s yep, it's hard that to. you know it's when you get on those brakes yep. you're using them anyway guys uh hopefully we'll catch this car on the track here soon uh hopefully there'll be a track day open or something like that if not next season we'll catch it on the track and uh as you've seen earlier in the video the, from the drag strip that was last saturday when we was all there that this car was there and you watched it go down the track yeah. and actually you shot that footage sure. the the 9-3 the run that we showed in the video yeah. but uh yeah well told me on it. thanks for taking it for a ride and scaring the crap out of me and i appreciate it best part. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> Anyway, guys, we're going to get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.